Lunar Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations and has a huge IT environment to support their business. They use CA Spectrum infrastructure to monitor and manage various devices on the network. While their Spectrum infrastructure is behind a DMZ and a firewall, CA Spectrum administrators are always concerned about securing the CA Spectrum one-click web console against common vulnerabilities. These may include SQL injections, cross-site scripting, Trojans, and code injections. Hence, they are delighted to hear that this problem is being addressed by the implementation of MOD security in CA Spectrum 10.1. MOD security is an open-source web application firewall that interacts with the Apache module to monitor the real-time HTTP traffic. When the MOD security engine is running and a hacker tries to manipulate or inject some malicious software into the URL, the engine will block the vulnerable code and not pass that to the server for the execution. CA Spectrum MOD security is bundled with predefined 21 core rule sets for the enterprise customers to protect their CA Spectrum infrastructure. However, customers can define their custom rule sets to deal with various types of vulnerabilities. Let's view a quick demonstration on how MOD security is implemented with CA Spectrum 10.1. When Spectrum is installed, and MOD security is implemented, we will get a new Apache folder in the Spectrum installation directory. Navigate to the Apache bin folder to see all the libraries. The highlighted file is used to enable or disable MOD security features. We will see how it is done shortly. Let's go back to the Apache folder. Double-click the highlighted folder. Now, double-click the base rules folder. This folder contains the 21 predefined core rule sets that ship out of the box with CA Spectrum 10.1. Now, let's go back to the Apache folder. Here, we will run this file to enable the mob security feature by using the command prompt. Open the command prompt and type in the mod security configuration file name and pass enable as an argument. A prompt is displayed stating if Tomcat is running on SSL. Type an end. Another prompt is displayed stating if you want to assign Tomcat port to Apache. If you want to apply default configuration in the mod security, then type an end. Or, if you want to assign the Tomcat port to Apache and reassign a free port to Tomcat, then type in Y. For now, let's type an end. Assign a new port number for Apache. Let's type in 8082. Notice that the Apache service has registered successfully and has started. Let's open the services console to check if the Apache service is running. As you can see, Apache service is now up and running. This indicates that mod security is now enabled for the website. Now, open Internet Explorer and enter the Spectrum URL in the address bar. You will be prompted to enter the credentials. Type in the username and password and then click the OK button. The Spectrum one-click web application is displayed. Let's try to inject some dynamic code to the URL. Now that the URL is manipulated, press Enter. As you can see, the mod security blocks this URL from running. It states that the website declined to display the page. Typically, you can see an error with an HTTP 403 forbidden string. You can see the same in the log files. Navigate to the Apache folder inside the Spectrum installation folder, and then double-click the logs folder. The list of log files are displayed here. Double-click on the error log file. The error log file is displayed. Scroll down to see the latest log details. Notice the highlighted text that states that mod security has denied the access with the error code 403. Now, let's go back to the command prompt and disable mod security feature. At the command prompt, type in the mod security configuration file name and pass disable as an argument. The Apache service is now disabled. We must restart the Tomcat service to reflect the change. Open the services console. Right-click on the Spectrum Tomcat service, and select the Restart option. Now, mod security will no longer work. Let's go back to the Internet Explorer and type in the Spectrum URL. 
Now, type in the username and password and then click the OK button. The Spectrum one-click web application is displayed. Now inject the same code again, and press Enter. As you can see, even after the injection, you can still see the application loading. That means, the mod security is no longer blocking this URL from malicious attacks. I am sure you now understand the importance of the mod security feature that has been introduced in CA Spectrum 10.1. To learn more about CA Spectrum, please visit the CA Education website.